I am Dr. Katherine Knowlton, a professor in the Department of Dairy Science at Virginia Tech. As part of our YouTube channel, Dairy Judging 101, we've put together a group of practice classes. These are picture classes, pictures from the Hordes Dairyman contest, that we have mixed and matched to make new classes for you to practice on. I realized that we were a bit light on Ayrshire classes, and so I've put a few together for you. This one, class A3, is Ayrshire three-year-olds. The next eight slides will present the cows in the class, alone and together. You'll stop then, make sure you have your placing. Then we'll show you what our placing would be with cuts, how we'd take notes, and an example set of reasons. I hope this helps you. So here's your class. These are Ayrshire three-year-old cows.
The next slide contains our placings and cuts, so stop here, look back at the pictures if you need to to make sure that you've got your placing finalized. We placed the class 2, 3, 1, 4, with cuts of 4, 5, and 2. Those cuts mean that we thought the top was pretty logical, the middle pair was pretty logical, and the bottom pair, honestly, you could go either way. I'm not crazy about either one of those cows. I placed this class of Ayrshire three-year-old cows, 2, 3, 1, 4. I found a youthful, good-uttered, straight-line cow to start the class, and I placed 2 over 3 for her advantage in mammary system. She holds her udder higher above the hocks. She is less quartered on the floor of the udder and has a more correct teat size. Also, 2 has a real advantage in rump and leg structure. She carries her legs more squarely beneath her. She hocks in less when you look at her from the rear. Also, 2 is more level in the rump than 3. Now, I grant that 3 is a cleaner-bodied cow with more depth and spring to her rib. In the middle, 3 easily places over 1 because of her obvious advantage in dairiness. She's just so much cleaner down over the top. Over her ribs and rump, she's flatter in the thigh than the smooth 1. Also, 3 has a more milky udder. She has more bloom and capacity to her udder. She's got more fullness to the rear udder attachment, a higher, wider rear udder attachment. 3 has more quality and texture to her udder, and a more defined seam. Now, I grant that 1 does carry her legs more squarely beneath her than 3. In the bottom pair, I chose the big-bodied 1 over 4 for her obvious advantage in size and scale. One has so much more strength and power. She's wider in the chest, she's fuller in the heart, she's obviously deeper in both fore and rear rib. One is wider through the rump than four. Also, one has some advantages in memory system. She is smoother in the fore udder attachment and more balanced in the rear quarters because four is light in the right rear. Also, one has a bit of an advantage in the set to the hock as compared to four. I admit that 4 has a higher and wider rear udder attachment and a cleaner frame, but she is just too frail to place any higher. It is for these reasons I place this class of Ayrshire 3-year-old cows 2, 3, 1, 4.